Hey guys, it is a gorgeous rainy day. I'm so excited today to be testing out a new piece of gear that I got, the Manfrotto Element. I'm really trying to make this uh, photography and inclement weather work. And so I've got this and a couple other things that I'm going to show you and test out as we go. muddy here so I've got on my rain boots big blue poncho with all my gear underneath so I look really large <laughs> and I finally got a new duck hat <laughs> yes this is what I call my duck hat I'm pretty sure my other one is in our trailer but I had to get a new one I mean it's raining I need a duck hat for a good foreground element. <sighs> so beautiful. I'm gonna keep walking. I would love to do maybe a black and white with a tree uh, in the foreground leading into the distance if it's fallen. I'm not sure. This is brand new. I don't remember this being here before. Now, it's not raining, it hasn't been raining for about 10 minutes. I may take off the poncho. I hope I don't regret it. When I think about yesterday, All right, <laughs> a little better. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> if it starts to rain, then I'll have to don all the uh, rain stuff again. But the wind has picked up a bit, so I have the, uh, the tie under my chin. I love that it's all muddy and there's sticks strewn all about and the grasses are wild and
my, oh my, my, oh my, the kiss, and so I did. While I like this tree that I found here in the water, see behind me? I'll tell you why I'm not gonna take this tree. It's moving. <laughs> it's most in the water and a lot of it is moving, which means that the long exposure I wanna get is going to be, the leaves are gonna be blowing and it's not gonna be what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna head on back up this big hill and continue down the forest path and see if there's something else. Much of Coots Paradise and Princess Point has melted now, but you can see here a lot of ice still in the, uh, in the innermost areas. While I walk, I'm gonna tell you why I bought the Manfrotto Element. Although it's probably pretty obvious. It's very small and very light. I do a lot of hiking with camera and video gear and I want sometimes to go light. This tripod, tried it out in the store. It seems pretty sturdy. So, I'm looking at the pathway there and it's pretty muddy going down. It's a good mudslide. So I'm just going to head back and maybe I will try to work with some of those down trees that I already passed. I have some ideas. So let's do that. Let's head back. Woo! <laughs> mud. Good squishy mud. The other, hang on, bit of gear that I've purchased is a lens bag. So, two things I have here. This is the lens bag and this is filter pouch, okay? So in here I have my wide angle lens. I have the 70 to 300 on the camera right now. This is all of my filters. They are, they are both lower pro, this one, lens case, lower pro, nine by 16 centimeters. And this is the SF100 lens, uh, sorry, filter pouch. Don't know if this one's still available, but I love it. Uh, so I've got these just slung around across body, shoulder strap. And, uh, and so I don't need my backpack. This is awesome. <laughs> so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my wide angle lens, put the long lens in here, and, uh, and then head over to the trees that I saw before. These are just my rain covers that are tied around the straps right now. These pouches are meant to attach to my 
uh, Low Pro 450 bag, which I absolutely love. So they have straps on the back, which actually make it really perfect for me to also strap on these um, lens hoods because they're big and they don't fit in the pouch. So there we go. Lens changed and I'm ready to go. Think about yesterday My oh my My oh my I finally made it back. I have a big tree behind me here with kind of a cool little foreground and I'm going to get out my 16 to 35. Well, I already got it out from my lens pouch and I'm going to see what this tripod is good for. <laughs> uh, it has a hook on the bottom for uh, to add weight, so I'm gonna actually hang the tripod bag from it to keep it more stable and let's see how this goes. It seems pretty good, it seems intuitive. So I've got it here, it's pretty sturdy. My camera is even on a vertical, so that's a pretty big plus for the, uh, for the tripod. I'm gonna add some weight. First, I'm gonna take out my filters and uh, use my seven stop neutral density to get a longer experience. I think I may have forgotten something in the car. Yep, I did. I forgot the uh, holder for the neutral density. <sighs> That's okay. Yeah, I have a neutral density here, but it's not gonna work. I could. I'm gonna be silly. I'm gonna try holding it. tripod seems really steady. I love it. And I like these bags that I'm carrying. <sighs> the only thing is I've made the unfortunate mistake of leaving a part of my filter system in the car. So I'm attempting to hold the seven stock neutral density filter in front of the lens, which is not really that helpful. However, tripod, I love it. I'm glad that I made this purchase. It's going to be very useful with all the hiking and fun that I do. I didn't even put the bags on the bottom to make it more steady because I didn't need to. Even with the breeze, I didn't need to. So, good things. <laughs> I'm gonna head back and see if I can grab a couple more in the uh, on the way back, and then uh, and then that's it. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, guys. Thanks for hiking with me, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.